All right, what's up, everybody? This is Martin Malvex Rover, and welcome to another episode of Let's Make a PID Loop. So, we are mostly finished with our PID stuff, and、um, today I'm going to talk about hopefully the,、uh, one of the、uh, finishing, wrapping up stuff just to make our PID Loop a, 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 a lot more controllable and maneuverable, which is the、uh, hard limiter on your power. All right. So, what is a hard limiter? Imagine right here, when your robot is like far away from your target, or you give your your robot a big target value, like the robot is all the way over here. Let's say, if the robot is all the way over here,、uh, your proportion will go up very big, and、uh, it would basically ensure that your robot starts at full power. I mean, which is good. I mean, you do need that speed. But it actually all depends on your tuning. If you tune your KP to be very big, the robot's gonna go fast,、uh, even when it's kind of close to the, the、uh, target. And、uh, when momentum and things and、uh, speed and those things come into play,、um, it's always nice to have something called a, uh, a power、um, hard limiter, just to keep things in control. So how does it work? The concept is that I set a hard limiter, which is basically a parameter. Uh, inside the uh, uh, which is basically a parameter right here, and then I do a little if statement saying that if the speed is higher or faster than that, let's just hard、uh, let's just limit the speed right there. So what it can do is that you can say that I want no matter how much my derivative and integral they go, and uh, uh, excuse me, no matter how big my proportion and derivative and integral they go. I am going to say that all right, the speed is not going to be higher than this, which is very helpful. Like,、uh, if you want a very slow movement or you want something very precise, you don't want that momentum cra、uh, crashing into the target, then you can set a relatively small hard limit,、uh, so that you can keep your robot going from the beginning to the end all the way smooth, and your integral can actually activate and do some precise adjustments without too much momentum coming to play. And、um, when you actually need the speed to just come. Just compile a lot of movements into the your autonomous mode, and you're just going to depend on your tuning to make things precise, because you need your robot to be very fast to complete the 15 second time limit. Then, of course, you set your、um, speed hard limiter like、um, 80% or all the way up, so that your robot can go very fast. And、uh, I messed around with this little feature a lot in my、um, Skyros video.、Uh, excuse me, in my Skyros codes. And、uh, it really did work very well. I can make things precise and slow. I can also make things fast and,、um, well, actually less accurate. But it all depends on your tuning. And tuning, I'm gonna make more videos talk about that. All right. So it is. In this case, we are going to add another parameter, float. And、uh, let's call this、uh, max power. Max power. I'm going to use a preset here. I'm going to preset this to one actually. So what I'm going to do is that this value I want it to be around zero and one. So you can actually say that I want zero point eight. If you put zero point eight, it's going to mean eighty percent power. So、um, yes, of course you can do that. And、um, let us do this.、Uh, Well, if I,、uh, I mean, the reason I put the preset right here is that if you're just used to just putting two parameters,、uh, just putting two numbers into your parentheses, then you don't.、Uh, if I put a、um, preset here, and it, when I'm actually using it, when I'm actually、uh, calling this、uh, user function, and I don't put anything for the third parameter, it's gonna assume it's one. So that, yeah, that's the uh, uh, preset. All right, so、uh, it's the concept is very simple, and、uh, I'm just gonna show you how how I do it. So the, we are going to limit the final power, and hopefully I'm gonna upgrade this part in in another video after I make some videos talking about the、uh, motor and your your base、uh, speed and、uh, motor control value mapping. And but right now, for the sake of simplicity, let's do this. All right, we type if final power. Is greater than、um, what was it? <laughs> max max speed max speed actually max 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 r d 
did I say max power? <laughs> I always don't remember what I put in as a parameter. All right, max power. That's right. All right. If where is it? There we go. If the final power is greater than max power, multiply one to seven because you are talking about a percentage. Uh, rather than just a value, but of course, if you want to directly put into the hard limit right there, of course you can. Uh, if you want to make this thing an integer and say that preset this to one to seven, if you just want to put in an integer right here and preset this to one to seven and just directly put in your power, then of course you are fine. But I prefer to do a like percentage thing so that I, I just know how I mean where I'm going. It's just my personal prefer preference and encoding you should always do your personal personal preference. I'm just showing you mine. And um, all right. Uh, if the final power is greater than max power times one to seven, the final power power we should forcefully set this thing equal to max power times one to seven. So no matter how big this thing goes, so no matter how big it is added right here, if I detect it's actually bigger, uh, I'm just gonna preset it right here before I send it to the base. All right, don't forget about, uh, don't forget that, else, else if, don't forget about the negative case, if your final power is negative and it's too big, which is not, not quite gonna happen in, in our case, but just in case some robot knocks it out, we're just gonna, uh, for the uh, um, j j just to make the code complete, let's just do this. If else, if the final power is smaller than the uh, negative max power times one to seven, then we are going to set the final power to equal to negative max power times one to seven all right so that's basically how to do a hard limiter uh, basically what you what, what we're saying is that if i put a 0 0.8 right here if i put a 0 0.8 right here and i'm saying that if my final power is greater than 80 percent of one to seven i'm just going to set it equal to 80 percent of one to seven which is just you can just assume that as 80 percent of the power which is reasonable if you want just 40 percent of power and you, you just put 0 0.4 or you just put 0 0.4 in the bracket all right so that is how you do a hard limiter and i'm actually going to do a demonstration below here so if you say that in this control i want to move uh, 12 inches and i Want want to wait the default wait time, which means I, do, I basically don't want to give it actual time to wait here. We put zero there. We talked about that before, and I don't want this thing to be too fast. So I, let's put zero percent, the seventy uh, percent. So that's uh point seven. So if I put point seven right here, it means that I'm operating this robot at zero point seven percent max. And uh, just something to keep in mind is that when I do this, the robot can still slow down. It's not saying that the robot is always this max power. It's just the max power. It just limits the uh, max power. It's kind of in, in audio editing, it's kind of like a hard limiter. Uh, rather than the the, um, the uh, decibel level, you're hard, uh, you're hard limiting the power. All right, let's compile program, see if we did anything wrong. Not really, and that is just pretty awesome, and uh, didn't make a typo. So that is how you do a hard limiter, and uh, that is very, really going to help, and uh, going it is going to provide a lot more maneuverability uh, in your autonomous because you can make the robot go maximally faster or slower. Uh, so this is it. I hope you learned something. This is Martin Monfex Forever, and uh, I will see you in the next video.